Hello everybody, welcome to MC Instructor Builds. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Futurama style uh, vacuum tube transport system. So uh, I hope you like this one. It was, uh, it's really good fun to do. So with this design you can go up, down, across and side to side uh, without having to press any keys. In fact it's quite important that you don't press any keys. So there we go, this is one I built in one of our worlds. Whee! So, without further ado, I'll uh, show you how to build it. Here we go. So, uh, I hope you like that segue, by the way. Um, so, first thing we need is a piston, a sticky piston, sorry, uh, facing upwards. And then a block of slime on top of that. Now, in front of that, we want an uh, unmovable block. Uh, I like to use uh, obsidian, personally, but there are other blocks you can use. And then um, redstone torch, and then an ordinary block. Uh, I like to use packed ice because it's used in the rest of the build, and it uh, looks quite cool anyway. So that's that. And then around the edge, like so. Um, block. Oh no, don't need a block there. Hang on. We just get rid of that. There we go. And check that works. Yep. Then so redstone, redstone repeater. Tap it once. And then two more pieces of redstone. Uh, this is just for the uh, elevator component of this. Uh, it's the most difficult part of the whole thing. Um, after that, we'll get to the uh, across side to side and down. So on top of that block there, we need a redstone torch, ordinary block, then ordinary block in uh, configuration like that. Then on top of that, we need redstone, redstone, Redstone repeater, tap it twice. Uh, there we go. And then redstone on that other block there. Next, we're going to place the uh, pistons for our second jump up. So here we go. There we go. And then, um, yep, slime block there. So um, next thing we need is uh, some immovable blocks in front of uh, the second run so that uh, when the pistons move across, it doesn't push you out. Uh, I'm going to stick some down the bottom as well. You, you don't technically need them for the bottom bit, but it's useful for getting in the right position. So, um, right, let's show you this working. Um, I don't think, yeah, I'm going to need another block just to uh, do the run up. Hang on. There we go. Oop, let's try again. Need to sprint for this one. There we go. And it sends you upwards. Right, that's it. Uh, I'm just going to show you. Uh, oh, I'll just change the time. Hang on. There we go. Uh, sorry for the little jump there. I just cut away and came back. Um, all right. So after that, we need a block on top of the uh, piston, then redstone torch, then ordinary block, then redstone, and then ordinary blocks in this configuration. Now, you basically spiral up with this design. I quite like it. It's quite nice to have a spiral all the way up. Um, so you just copy this design for the whole of the way up for however high you want to go and it should work uh, so it's you know three blocks uh, across instead of two as with the previous one and then pistons in that configuration with a redstone uh, repeater um, tapped twice and then obsidian in front of that yep and then we're just going to do another run up so exactly the same and spiraling up so ordinary block on top of the piston then redstone torch ordinary block redstone torch again block and then up one and across three and then up one more and that's literally it you can spiral it all the way up and uh, yep yeah, so redstone redstone repeater and then redstone again and then place the uh, sticky pistons like that. So if we place a block of slime there, and then, uh, yeah, that should work. Oh, just uh, forgot the obsidian, hang on. There we go. And this should work fine, as long as I get the run up right. Yeah, so all the way up. So that's it. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to modify it. So once you've got to the top, 
you can be pushed along. So let's get rid of that obsidian. Now you don't need uh, the uh, piston underneath anymore, basically. All you have to do is get rid of it, and then it'll fling you out the other side. If you want to be pushed in other directions, you'll have to modify it a bit more. But uh, let's get some ordinary ice here, since that's easy to collect. I'll show you that it works fine. So let's go across here, just build a few out. Uh, there we go. Mm, not sure I built enough there. And let's give it a go. Oh yeah, I haven't built enough. So let's build a bit more. So that block has to be either ice or packed ice for this to work properly. Let's try again. You can use a button to uh, operate that, it's a bit easier. But there we go, so it, we've stopped on this block, so destroy that, replace it with packed ice, and then build out like this. Now again, these blocks don't have to be packed ice, I just like it to kind of even it. So on one side, ordinary blocks in that configuration, on the other side like this, then redstone repeater, tapped twice is... Um, T typically works but you may have to play around with it uh, to uh, d depending on how it works it's it's although sort of two taps normally works uh, it doesn't always and then sticky pistons in this configuration with a block of slime so after we've gone up the elevator we get pushed in this direction and this block is just going to push us along further again and uh, so wherever you stop after you've been pushed uh, along the slide, that's where you want to build another repeater. So let's give this a go. Yeah, I really should have done this with a button. There we go. So yeah, pushes along again, and we've stopped on this block here. Now, again, uh, like I said, you can build another repeater if you want, but uh, I'm just going to show you how to uh, change direction. So let's get rid of these. Uh, actually, yeah, packed ice there, then get uh, then blocks of whatever you want. That's just to stop you from carrying on. And then ordinary blocks in that configuration, sticky piston, redstone, and pressure plate. So it's dead simple to change direction, and then slime block, and then blocks along here. So that's it. All right, so uh, let's give this a try. Oh, up we go, push down, repeater, and then we change direction and we've stopped here. Now again, you can do a repeater or another change of direction or another up if you want, but I'm gonna show you how to do down. So what you have to do is on the block you've stopped on, destroy that one and the one before it because you want to fall down, so you don't want to get stuck on the edge. And then down is by far the simplest uh, component of this, because all you need is just a run down, something like that. And then around the edge, close to the bottom. So one ordinary block there, and then a ring. Yep. And then uh, we need a sign and a bucket to do this part. Yeah, there's a sign. So uh, I'm sure you've seen stuff like this before, or pro possibly not. Uh, but yeah, sign and then water above that. So you fall through the water, it slows your descent. So when you're on survival, you don't take fall damage. So let's give this a test. So we go up, across, it repeats, change direction, and down. Uh, it's probably a bit too high, that block, actually. Um, and then again, at the bottom of that, you can do a change of direction to set you on your way again. And combine all of those in any configuration that you want. So just a few notes. So uh, when you uh, encase this, if you want to encase this, I've just um, done it in glass because it looks cool. Uh, under the slime block on the repeaters, uh, don't place any block, otherwise you'll lose the pressure plate when it operates and it won't work again. Uh, another note, like I said before, 
configuring the timing on those redstone repeaters is um, like two is typical, but sometimes one is better, sometimes three is better. You'll have to kind of test it out. So here we have the drop down into water and then a push to get you going. And yeah, so here's an example. After we've changed direction, uh, sometimes it might go a bit wrong and you get pushed into one of the sides. Now it may be that you just need to place another block to stop that happening, or you have to move the whole section of repeater back. Um, it's, it's a bit of a play around with it. Now when you have an elevator up after a straight, it's repeater, three blocks of ice, and then obsidian. That is the best configuration I've found for this to work. So uh, let's just test this big one out and I can show you it working. So here we go. Uh, this one is button operated. So uh, while we're going around here, I'll uh, just like to say thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you uh, have fun with uh, building these of your own. I'd love to see what you do with them. Um, if you have any requests for things you'd like to see me build or tutorials on them, uh, please let me know in the uh, comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.